Hey everyone, uh, my name is Brian Matias and I'd like to welcome you to a special episode, episode number 12 of The Photo Show. So you're, if you're watching this, you're probably watching this on Car the Carl Zeiss Lens' Facebook page. And I want to thank my partners at Zeiss for giving me this really cool opportunity to broadcast my show on their page. Uh, just a little bit of background of what this is and who I am. So I am a photographer and a published author. That's my, my book right there. And I'm based here in Portland, Oregon. I'm also fortunate because I'm a Zeiss Lens Ambassador. So I get to work closely with uh, my friends at Zeiss uh, on, you know, uh, working on uh, unreleased or unannounced lenses, uh, getting early access to them to help build a cache of photos, you know, with the lenses. And that's kind of how this episode came to be. Um, the photo show is something I started about a month ago, and it's the first Facebook Live show that's dedicated to photography and videography and the technology that surrounds them. And so my goal is to provide you with great information. So before we begin, what I'd like to just invite you to do is, um, if you're watching live, uh, leave your comments. I'm, I've got here, I'm looking at my screen, and uh, we have the live feed going on, um, so just ask your questions. I'll be looking in, and I also know that my friends at Zeiss and ExoLens are watching, so if you have questions about what we're gonna talk about today, just leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. So, what is this about? Um, this is about ExoLens. So my involvement with ExoLens started back in December of 2015. Um, I was contacted by Zeiss and uh, kind of told about this project that they're working on, uh, which was very exciting because, uh, you know, I never in, I know Zeiss. I mean, I think everyone in photography and videography knows Zeiss. I don't think anyone ever expected Zeiss to come out with mobile lenses. but. You know what, if anyone would, I'm glad it was Zeiss. So it was announced in a partnership with uh, Fellows that uh, this new breed, I call it a new breed of um, mobile photography optics made by Zeiss uh, called Excellence, uh, it was announced. And in December, I had about five days. I, I had just barely any time to work with their wide angle lens. And so you can see uh, in the shot over here, there are three lenses. There's the wide angle lens, which I'll cover. There's a telephoto lens, and then there's a macro lens. And all three lenses currently uh, work with uh, the iPhone system, or it will work with the iPhone system. And this is kind of a mock of what it looks like. So um, here are a few kind of high, I, I just want to start before I show anything, I want to start with some, for me, some important, uh, I guess, concepts of uh, what, um, I like about these lenses. So the first, and this is probably, in my opinion, the most important thing. Um, unlike just about any other mobile lenses that you have on the market currently, this is an actually an aspherical lens. And what that means is it uh, having an aspherical lens design will minimize distortion. Is, this is especially important with wide angle. So for landscape shooters and travel shooters, that wide angle um, lens, if it with an aspherical lens, and I'll it will show you an illustration in a second, will minimize distortion and it will also minimize and eliminate chromatic aberration. And these are uh, really, really important things when you're dealing with mobile photography because um, you have, in some cases, less latitude than if you're working with a bigger lens and a bigger camera sensor. Now, in terms of the construction, I'm a, I'm a sucker for good construction. Uh, the lens itself, it, it looks like, um, where is this? It actually looks like a, a baby bodice lens. This is the brand new Zeiss bodice 18 millimeter f2.8. I, I love this lens. I, I've been using it since I got it last week, nonstop. And so when you see it, when you see photos, it looks like they took, it's almost like from the movie Ant-Man. They, they took a Zeiss lens, a bodice lens, and they just shrunk it down um, significantly. And uh, what's also important, actually, more appropriate when I'm holding this 18 millimeter lens is that you get the equivalent of an 18 millimeter focal length when you're using the wide angle EXO lens. So the construction is um, high end anodized aluminum, uh, and when you see it close up, it look I mean it looks like a miniature bodice lens. And then also um, 
with this uh, bracket, which I'll show you in a second much more closely, they really want to, they don't, with, with the XO lens, you're, you're not gonna be kind of inhibited by what you can do because it has an integrated cold shoe mount. So you can set up something like a boom mic and uh, you also have an integrated uh, quarter inch tripod mount, a standard tripod mount. So um, just going back to what I meant by uh, normal lenses versus an spherical lens. So with a normal lens, which is what you have on pretty much all of the mobile uh, lenses on the market right now, uh, you have an increased likelihood of distortion and chromatic aberration because of the way light passes through the lens. And this is about as dorky as we're gonna get, but I think it's really important. But um, an aspherical lens, you, you'll notice, has kind of more of a rounded uh, shape, like a, a cone shape on the front. And what this does is it helps focus the light that passes through it. And that renders a sharper image, it minimizes distortion because of the curvature of the lens, and it also mi minimizes chromatic aberration, which is that typically that purpley fringe that you'll see when you're at high contrast edges. Um, and so having that minimized is super important to me. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to jump over to the uh, wide angle camera. Hey everyone. So, and we are actually broadcasting on this one with a Zeiss Tuit uh, 12 millimeter lens on a, Zeiss, on a Sony a7R Mark II camera. All right, so let's start with the box because who doesn't like a good unboxing? Um, I'm a huge fan. I said how I'm a huge fan of construction. That goes with industrial design as well. Uh, I'm, I commend Exolens for the box. I like it because what you do is, here, you slide it out. Nice big photo. Um, and then the lens would be in here. The lens comes with a front rear, a front lens cap and a rear little rubberized uh, lens cap. So you can protect both sides of the, ele of the lens elements when traveling. And then the other thing of, of interest is this. So let's just put these on the side. So I have, I use as my daily phone an iPhone 6S Plus. And the XO lenses, the bracket, and I'll show this to you in a second. The, this one is made for the iPhone 6 Plus and the 6S Plus. And then there's another version for the iPhone 6 and the 6S. Now, the only difference, these gel inserts, other than making sure that you have kind of a, a, a frictionless slide, which won't scratch your phone, it helps kind of ensure that there's proper alignment with the iPhone camera lens. So. The only difference between the two, the two gel inserts is this is for an iPhone 6 Plus, and all you do is you peel it out and stick it in. And this one is made for the 6S Plus. So let's just kind of walk through here. I'll show you quickly. I'll illustrate. So this is the bracket uh, made out of aluminum. Really, really rigid. Really, really nice. And it, it has that kind of sci-fi feel, which I can appreciate. But you can see this is um, where you screw the lens on. And it's a very, very secure screw. There's no magnets, there's no adhesive. You screw it on and it stays in place. And that's exactly what you want. Um, there is the cold shoe, which is up here. And then on the bottom here is the uh, quarter inch tripod mount. So, and then there's access for the power button over here. So let's go ahead here. Here's the phone, my phone. I've got um, just an Apple leather case. So just take it off. And so the phone now is naked. Oh, and what's worth noting, so I'm kind of obsessive with protecting my, my gear. So I already have, you might not be able to see it, but I have a glass um, screen protector. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of times uh, cases that you get to add phones aren't designed uh, to work with screen protectors. And when you put it on, it scrapes the protector off. And, drives me crazy. And with glass, it doesn't just peel off. The glass will literally break. So all you do here is you, um, you know, you align it so it would be like this and you just position it and just push it down. Done. No mussing around, no nothing. If you look closer, you can see the alignment of the screw with the lens is perfect. Um, and also the screen hasn't been touched or the screen protector rather hasn't been touched. Um, and I think that's really important. So here's the little baby bodice. 
I'm calling it the baby bodice. This is the, um, the wide angle exo lens and you can see the rear element and the front element over here. I mean, <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, and what I also like about it, I mean, I'm partial to branding, but you have uh, anyone who's familiar, you know, with photography, if you see the blue badge on the side, the Zeiss badge, you know, you, I, I take notice. Um, it also comes with a lens hood. So the lens hood just snaps in place. And I've used this lens quite extensively and not once, not one, I mean, it's been in my camera bag, it's been in my pocket, not once has the lens hood snapped off, which I think is impressive. So um, last week on the photo show, I, came, I gave an early look of this lens just as I got it. And here's one thing, um, speaking of design, kind of meticulous design, uh, the nerd in me can appreciate this. So watch, I'm gonna screw it on. Usually, this is how I screw it on. I kind of base, I do it upside down because um, it just is, it reduces the likelihood of it falling. So snap it in place and done. But every time it screws on, you, the logos, you've got the Exo Lens logo here. It's kind of, where's the light? You can't see it. Okay, but you have also the Zeiss lens. They're always aligned, which means that the lens will always secure on the same exact way every single time. And for me, th those little things mean a lot. Um, so I, I really commend the engineers uh, for designing it this way. I'm gonna take a second here. I wanna see if there are any questions. Um, there, wow, we have a lot of people here. Very cool. 130, oh, we have some good viewers. Um, so I'm going to, I have the information of, I'm going to address at the end guys. So people are asking about pricing and availability and like which phones are supported. I have that information up, uh, and I'll bring that up at the end of it, at the end of the, the show. Actually, I'm going to bring it up. Where's my thing from Sandra? Bear with me guys. I just want to make sure I have all that information for you. Okay, cool. So now I have that ready and I will answer it. All right, so um, just to illustrate, so here, when I'm using the camera uh, the, or this, the Exo lens with my iPhone, the, the way that I hold it, because if you're holding it like this, just from the end, uh, it can be, it, it's a very, very substantial lens compared to what you may be used to. I like that. It's an uh, anodized aluminum construction. I mean, here, wait. Not plastic. I mean, that's, this is a serious lens. Um, and I can appreciate that. And the, the, one of the benefits of the secure mounting with the lens is that you can actually hold it like this. So you have this kind of secure hold and it actually feels it's weighted really well. I know it's kind of dorky sounding, but when you're out in the field and you're trying to you know, get low um, over a, a stream or by a waterfall, that really helps. You wanna make sure you have a secure grip on your uh, camera or your phone. Now, with, I have over here a Gorilla Pod. Any tripod will work. Oh, that, perfect. So all you do is uh, screw it on. Now I don't have to hold the phone. <laughs> okay, and there we go. So now I have it on a tripod. So if you wanna use some long exposure apps, you can. And then, of course, you have the cold shoe mount. So this just kinda slides in. One second, I have to unscrew this. There we go. All right, and then screw it down. So let, let's say, you know, you are using your iPhone. So in this case, wow, that really is close. <laughs> Here. Um, let's say you're using your iPhone for video, which is not uncommon because, I'm gonna take this off because this thing is just, <laughs> Way too big in the frame. You, the iPhone can record 4K video and it can support uh, any sort of ex external uh, microphone as long as you have the appropriate cables. So there are people who are making legit videos. No, forget about photography right now, we're talking about video. The problem with uh, the iPhone lens is that it's a bit too narrow for video. So being able to kind of take advantage of the 4K 
excuse me, recording with higher end audio uh, and wide angle, an, a wide angle a spherical lens, uh, the extra lens, you really have these opportunities now. Instead of carrying a bunch of gear, you, you, know, you can take your phone, your lens, your microphone, you have your tripod so it's stable, and then maybe like a few little lights to light the scene, and you've got yourself a serious video rig. So I think that's super cool. Um, let me take a, another second here. Are the lenses multi-coated? Uh, Daniel's asking. I actually do believe they are multi-coated. Um, I know I, I, there was, if you go to um, do a search, a Google search for um, <clears throat> Lenspire, L-E-N-S-P-I-R-E, Lenspire, Exolens, the first link will be um, the, the kind of press release that Zeiss made for uh, the Exolens, which I was fortunate, you know, I was thankful to be a part of. And it goes into detail of the, the coatings of the lens, uh, of all the, the lenses that are being announced or were announced. Um, <clears throat> uh, Butch is asking, hey Brian, I currently use the Optic, Optrix case for wet work. Will these lenses be interchangeable with Optrix cases? Butch, I wish I can answer that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what an Optrix case is. Right now, what I can tell you is that it's compatible with the bracket that ships by Exolens. I don't know how it'll work with any other cases. Um, so I don't want to mislead you. And I'm okay with saying I don't know. And you know, you don't want me to give you an answer I'm not 100% sure of. So let's go ahead. I, I'd like to turn uh, for a minute uh, over to some kind of photos just to illustrate. So again, I had early access uh, to the lens, the wide angle exo lens. And I wanted to kind of, you know, these are, oh, these are all straight out of camera or straight out of iPhone. None of these have been um, edited in any way because I, I want to be, I want to purely illustrate the capabilities. So Zeiss sent me the lens and I went out and my goal was, other than to just use it, I wanted to be able to illustrate the difference between um, what you have right now with your standard camera, your standard iPhone lens, and then what you, the benefits you get with an Exo lens. So this is the uh, Vista house at Crown Point. So this is in the Columbia River Gorge. Oh, Nicole, thank you. Nicole is in here, I just saw her post. So, so um, who asked about the multi-coding? Um, Daniel, Daniel, if you go into the comments, Nicole just posted the link that I was uh, talking about. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so this is again, the standard shot. You, you, if you drive up to the Vista house in, in uh, the Columbia River Gorge and here in Oregon, and you point at it, this is what you get. And I'm still kind of amazed because watch, so here is what you get with the wide angle lens. So one more time iPhone shot, boom. And why I'm amazed is because there's like no one here because it was in, it was in the middle of the winter. It was a few days before Christmas and uh, it was freezing cold, but, and the weather was really poor. So no one was here. Normally people are around here everywhere. It's impossible to get a photo without people. Speaking of another place in Oregon that is impossible to get without people, although there is one person there, this is Multnomah Falls probably the most famous waterfall in the entire area. Um, and you can see the Benson Bridge. And the, what you have is, again, you walk up to the kind of uh, pedestrian area and you lift your phone and there you go. But with the Exolens, boom, I mean, it's again, the equivalent of an 18 millimeter lens. And if you look at the corners, there's no distortion, um, there's no chromatic aberration, which uh, earlier I was saying chromatic aberration is the purpley fringe that you see um, at a high contrast edge. So chromatic aberration would be visible um, where you see the gray sky, where it meets the tree line, that's where you would see chromatic aberration and there is none. So that's huge. Um, I also had an opportunity to walk around. This is, so those first sets of images were with a pre-production model and now we have photos that I took with the lens that I got last week, which I would say is close to a production model. 
just walked around the city and this illustrates the close focusing capabilities. So this doggy was kind enough to just sit there and let me photograph. I think it was a boy, I'm not sure. Um, and then I went back to Laterelle Falls, which is another very famous waterfall, just to show what wide angles can do in terms of creative composition. So uh, it just so, you know, it's fortunate that there's this break in the trees where you get to the waterfall right in the middle. So I took this on Saturday, like, or Friday, just last week. Um, and then on this past Sunday, I went to a waterfall called Little Zigzag Falls. Now here's what I want to illustrate here is um, not so much the capabilities of the lens, but the creative opportunities. So here, this is a, a creek. This is the kind of the runoff from the waterfall and standard shot. This is with the exo lens. Um, but one of the things you can do, I don't know if you know this, but there are apps uh, I, for both iOS and Android that simulate long exposure. So all I did was I braced the iPhone on uh, my camera, like on my A7, which is on a tripod, because I didn't bring enough, a second tripod. Um, and I used the app to take this long exposure. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it, 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 if I were to show you um, a photo taken with my A7, the, there would be a lot of similarities. So you can see, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, right? Like this is your standard photo. And then with the app, you can simulate shallow depth of field. So again, what you're, get, you're getting uh, with a wide angle exo lens, because of the spherical lens, you're, minim you're minimizing distortion, you get no chromatic aberration, you get punchy color, colors and contrast. And then you, when you use third party apps to go along with the third party lens, you get some really cool opportunities with a phone instead of a heavy camera and a heavy lens. So, um, so, you know, that's kind of, in my opinion, one of the, the main benefits of why, why I'm so excited about where we're going with this kind of stuff. So, you know, oh, that's nice. I like that framing right there. So again, the, the exo lenses will come in three flavors. There's this wide angle lens there's a telephoto and then the macro. And I mean, next to the wide angle, I cannot wait to use the macro lens because there are so many cool opportunities where I live to get close up shots of things. So, and just to have the same quality, uh, optical quality with my iPhone is great. So let's go ahead here and uh, I'm gonna see if there are any other questions. I, there are a bunch, I just wanna make sure that we get to them. Um, let's see here. Oh, so, okay, there's a really good, I see my friends at Exolens brought up an interesting point. So there is already an existing Exolens product. Um, so if you go to the Exolens webpage, you'll see the, the existing product. Um, these lenses, the, the exo lens lenses by Zeiss won't work with the older bracket. So you have to use the bracket that comes with, um, the exo lens by Zeiss. So it's just one of those important points to make. Now I'm going to bring up some, uh, just kind of talking points that I was provided that I think will address a lot of your questions. So these are kind of official talking points, uh, in terms of when, so when will the product start selling? Okay, so uh, they're scheduled to launch globally mid-June 2016. So what is it, May 25th? We are just a handful of days away till June and then another couple of weeks. So I would say within three weeks, it should start shipping. Um, and that's with the wide angle lens. So that's the wide angle lens kit. We'll start shipping in mid-June. And currently it's scheduled to be available for purchase at apple.com, so Apple's website, and then also all the Apple stores globally, which is was quite cool. Um, because I would say, in terms of mobile photography, I would say Apple pioneered that. And uh, if it were my decision, absolutely. I know that there are tons of Android phones, but um, with, with iPhone, the penetration of mobile photography, I mean, they pioneered it. And 
no, no knock on Android whatsoever. I have an Android phone as well. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's the smart move. Um, what will be the price point? Okay, price point. We are looking for um, the wide angle lens kit. So not speaking about the telephoto or macro lens is set for $199.99 and that's US dollar. So $199.99 and the macro and telephoto lenses will both launch a la carte. Uh, this summer. So it looks like, if I understand correctly, um, this is this kit comes with the bracket and then you'll get the wide angle lens and then you can buy the macro lens and or the telephoto lens to go with it so you don't need three different brackets. Um, so, so yeah, the, the only price that we, that has been confirmed is the wide angle lens for $199.99 and that's what uh, for what this is, I mean, it's all, it's aluminum and it's uh, just simply optically superior to anything I've used. And I've used a lot of lenses for mobile photography. Um, and I even did some comparisons when I first got this in December, I did, I had several lenses that I tested with. I'm not going to share them. Not, I don't want to talk about them, but all I will say is there was no, it was not worth comparing. Um, compatibility with the iPhone 7. Um, iPhone 7 is still just being rumored, but um, they are saying that they are gonna be working on development for the iPhone 7. Personally speaking, I appreciate that because I can guarantee you that I'll be buying an iPhone 7 and I wanna make sure that I can still use my Exo lenses. So fortunately, it's, I would assume it's mostly um, a bracketing issue, but I don't know. Um, is it for iPhone only? This, I know <laughs> have been a ton of questions about this. Why is it not for Android? And um, currently the options are for iPhone only. So iPhone 6, 6S, 6 Plus, 6S Plus. Um, but expanding to other smartphones is definitely a possibility. So not out of the realm. And I'm gonna just speak, this is more of an op-ed comment um, from my own, my own kind of thoughts. If you take a look at it, so let's look at just the iPhone line and let's look at Android. With iPhone, you have primarily, you have the iPhone 6, 6S, 6 Plus, 6S Plus, 4, 4, and those, even between those two, they're virtually, the 6 Plus and the 6S Plus are virtually identical. Um, and then you also have the iPhone 5 SE. So you have, let's just say five models, five iPhones. And then Android, I mean, you have, Nexus, Samsung, LG, um, Huawei, uh, Xiaomi, um, I, I mean, Sony, you have all of these vendors and within each vendor you have, I mean, look at Samsung. So it's, it's really hard to be able to make brackets like that, especially because those models get updated multiple times a year. So uh, just speaking for myself, that's kind of, I can understand that, you know, it, there's a kind of a, cost involved in terms of R&D. All right, uh, any other focal lengths? So right now, these are the focal lengths that uh, Zeiss and, and uh, the Exo lens is coming in. But, uh, but yeah, so expanding to other focal lengths on other smartphones is a possibility. I always like to hear that. And here's a cool one for the iPad Pro. Uh, is it available for the iPad Pro? So I have, I have an iPad Pro. This is a 9.7 inch. Uh, current gen and right now according to the tests the lens itself works with the iPad Pro but um, they there's no mounting system for it yet and I can only imagine how how big it would be but um, yeah so that's that all right let's go to questions uh, um, will there be package prizes? <laughs> I don't know, actually. So Florian's asking if there are going to be package prices, meaning like entire, I don't know uh, if there are going to be savings for bundles. It, those are the types of things, just wait and see. I know it's, you know, that's just the way it is, but um, I'm sure that stuff is still being figured out. This is still, remember, this is still kind of early, an early look. So once it starts shipping, I'm sure more information will come out. Um, 
David's, David Bates is saying this lens looks amazing. Will you sh be showing the tele and macro as well? So um, I, th I believe, uh, David, if you go back on Zeiss's page and even on Exolens's page, um, I think last week my, uh, my fellow Zeiss lens ambassador, uh, Greg Waterman, did a, a Facebook Live show, and I think it was with the telephoto. Um, so check it out. I, I don't know if, I think it was. But there is another, there was another show last week. I'm focusing on the wide angle right here. Um, let's see what we have here. This is not about iPhone, this is about camera. Can we take photos? Interesting comment. Brian, Brian Ma is saying this is not about an iPhone Zeiss lens. It's about the camera. Uh, it's about if the camera can help you take photos in higher pro with higher probability of success. Totally, absolutely. Um, but in order to, you know, I'm not saying that I will never say that it's all about the gear. I mean, it's all about the photographer, but when push comes to shove, if I have the opportunity to use superior optics, which ultimately the optics, when you're talking about hardware is probably the most critical part of the equation next to maybe the, the exposure, the, pl the exposure plane, which is your sensor. Yeah, I'm, I want the best thing possible. Uh, and more often than not, I, when I look, see, when I compose, I compose in wide angle. That's why I couldn't wait to get my, my bodice, my 18 millimeter bodice, because this is the widest angle prime lens uh, for Zeiss, for the Sony full frame system. And that's what I wanted. Um, I, and I use that along with the 21 millimeter Loxia, um, which is a phenomenal lens. But to have this, uh, with autofocus is, is brilliant. So, yeah. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, let's see what we have. It's a bunch of, wow, a lot of questions. Um, I think we are, let me know if there are any other questions. Okay, Florian's confirming actually that Greg Waterman's show that I just re referred to was um, the telephoto. Florian, thank you for that. Um, I think that's it. So if, uh, if you have any other questions, leave them quickly. Otherwise, what I'd like to do is uh, just kind of show you how you can follow me. So again, my name is Brian Matias and I'm everywhere. <laughs> Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat, Twitter, and YouTube, all of those slash Brian Matias. Uh, I'd love to connect with you. I'd also like to once again uh, thank so much my friends at Zeiss, um, Simone, Sandra, and Nicole. Thank you so much for this opportunity. This was uh, really cool. Uh, I'd also like to thank my friends at Exolens for sending me early access to the wide angle Exolens. Again, $199.99 uh, for the wide angle kit available at apple.com and Apple stores, the retail stores worldwide. Looking at mid-June, uh, if you have any questions, keep the, just because the show ends, the post still lives on, so add your comments. I'll be checking it out. I'm sure my friends at Zeiss and Exolens will be checking it out and will respond uh, as quickly and as um, accurately as we can. So for that, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The Photo Show. And finally, to everyone out there who is watching, who is participating, thank you so much. You make the show awesome. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.